ông quỳ cho ông dùng chấm đại bác cả một to cái chấm đại ca để tiếp thị xem đại ca nâng đo về tiếp cả chuẩn từ cầm về tiếp vị cà phê cái đây yên sơn nằm bên mình là tập hiệp một to cả tăng thông số đỉnh đầu chụp của sạ xây sầm chơi Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Your Honors. And again, uh, good morning to everyone in and around the courtroom. And I will uh, endeavor, Mr. President, Your Honors, to be ever mindful of the proceedings uh, and conduct them in the manner in which you have outlined for us. Before I begin, uh, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, I have a series of documents which are all more or less into different bundles. And it might, be, it might facilitate the, the proceedings if you were to give a bundle at a time to the court officer. That way they don't have to walk all the way over here. Uh, my practice to actually provide a, a binder to the witness, though I understand uh, under these circumstances, uh, 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 may not be necessary. So if you give the first bundle to the court officer, it would facilitate ตลาดการเจียวไอ้กษาปีมีตวีให้ลำโพงเตปที่ในการบางไฮไอ้กษาในเลยไอ้กรองตัวตัวโดยคณีคือในปีใดมีตวีจับประดามบางไฮในไอ
ไอกสารนี่คำจูนตลาคาตลาคาตัวตัวนึงทั้งไงดับปีใครมีนาดูชนิดเขาดูจะเป็นจับไอกสารนี่นึงทั้งไงผมบุญใครมีนา All right, thank you very much. Now, if we, <coughs> if you turn, <coughs> excuse me, if you turn over uh, the first page, and the air numbers are English zero zero seven nine one nine seven seven, Khmer zero zero seven eight seven nine three seven, and French zero zero seven nine two. Six, nine, six, nine, six. It's the second page on the stock. Do you have it? Do you have the page, sir? All right. Now we see that it's a forward. And it says a researcher. The researcher. Are we to understand how is you? You may have passed over the end. Next success, swing your money. Good thing. And if you look at the forward, it says that this document was based on what you heard, researched, analyzed, and summed up. Is that correct? And would it also be correct that what you researched, analyzed, and summed up are documents that were made available to you in books that you had reviewed? จะมีภาษาลูกประเทียนไอกสารนี้ชมจองกรองหลังมันเมนแต่ตามสุภาพเด็กดึกขึ้นบนเจนจังตามปฏิการเด็กขึ้นบานชั่วปฏิยาเด็กขึ้นบานดังลือให้เด็กขึ้นบานสายเขียว right and I guess what I wanted to focus on is and make sure that we all understand that in part what you wrote was based on what you read, what you researched, what you analyzed, and what you summed up. All right, thank you. Now, if we go to the next document, with the court's permission, it's E1 slash 51 period 1. And this is from the transcript of 20th March 2012. And if we could go to... Air number on Khmer, it's 0079191442. In English, it's 0079304. In French, it's 0079309. In here, this is from the transcript, and I know this was asked of you before, but I want to cover it. You indicate on lines 20, at least in the English version, however, 
if you really want me to only talk about what I knew back then, I'm afraid I might not I may not have anything to tell the world about this because I was confined to S21 in particular. Do you recall making that statement, sir? ជាមិត្តភាសាលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំដោយអត់លឺលោកមេធាវីសួរខ្ញុំ <coughs> I just want to make sure that that is exactly what you said as I read out. So, do you stand by that statement today? ជាមិត្តភាសាលោកប្រធានខ្ញុំរក្សាសម្ដីនេះខ្ញុំរក្សាមិនមែនដោយសារជប់នឹងប្រតិចារកទេតែពិតគឺវិញចឹង and when you said that you were confined to S21 in particular, if we, if we were to reflect back on a day in a life of Comrade Doik, your existence was home, S21, and back home, more or less, correct? ជាមិត្តភាសាលោកប្រធានការងារនៅសមាភិមួយវិច្រើនវាមានកូនទាហានរបស់វាវាមានការរៀនសូត្រវៈតាមពិតហើយខ្ញុំងើបឡើងអត
If we look at now document D90 with the court's permission, and as I understand it, Your Honor, not all documents have an E number, and, so, and if there is an error, the error is solely mine, but to the best of our knowledge, this is one of those documents, so it's D90, if you could look at that with the court's permission. And you will see, sir, on the first page that what I'm handing you is a written record of your interview of the 25th of June, 2008. And if you could go to Khmer Air Number 00198877, English 00198877, Eight, eight, two, French version, zero, zero, one, nine, eight, eight, nine, zero. And I want to focus your attention to the first part of your answer, where you indicate, I must first indicate that I have a better knowledge of the situation today compared to last August or last December. Indeed, as I went through the case file, I understood better the organization of the regime. Do you recall giving that answer? And do you stand by it today? Okay, thank you, sir. If we now look at the next document and with the court's permission, it's D238, D238. It's another written record of the gentleman. On 10th November 2009. Sir, if I could focus your attention on the Khmer Air Number 00403882, English 00403893, French 00403993, it should be on the last page. And I want to focus on the question, part of the question, and part of the answer. There was a question, which in part says, can you also explain when and why the central zone and the new zone were created? And part of your answer is, I prefer to wait until I have read the K Park document before answering this question. Do you recall? providing that answer, and do you stand by it? 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 And just to be sure, that I understand your answer. You wanted to look at documents 
before providing an answer to the question posed to you by the OCIJ. ยิมยิมเรียนภาษาโลกเทียนไงน้องแมนคําซ้อมจําหน่ายบัดสมเพียบบอกบ่องโปกยอมมาอ่านสันเอ่อ now if you look at document 86/27 with the court's permission this is a written record of the gentleman's interview of May 5 2008 and I would like to focus your attention to part of your answer where you say I myself did not know other people's work from that point of view, one could not draw the conclusion that the regime was criminal, but simply that crimes were committed at S21. Do you recall giving that answer? And do you stand by that answer? And in particular, that you did not know other ជំរាបសារលោកប្រធានឯកសារនេះគឺឯកសារឆ្នាំ so you are answering that question based on the knowledge that you had at that time before having access to other documents, correct? Correct. <laughs> Right. And if we could go to now another page, Khmer Air Number, ERN Number 00187654255. English 00204343 and French it's 0017 and I want to focus your attention to a part of your answer where you say that moreover up until this point in the investigation I have tried in the presence of my lawyer to answer all of the judge's questions. So I consider that the declaration I made to the UN it says HCR, but I believe it should read UNCHR, is outdated and no longer useful. Do you see that part of your answer, sir? So I consider that the declaration I made to UNHCHR is outdated and no longer useful. You see that. Right. 
จะไม่ได้ประสาทเข้ม And could it be that it's outdated? Because at the time that you answered questions during that declaration, you did not have access to the documents that were provided later to you by your lawyers in this case. In your, in your case. จะมาเรียนภาษาลูกปฏิญาณคำสมบัติในเชียกูลกำนัดรบกยมจมปุ๊บกำนัดให้เด็ดดอกสร้างเจนสายอันเด็กยมปัดสายกำนัดให้เด็กยูเอ็นเอซีเอออจมลองอันปีสายอันรบกยมมาขนมกระดาษให้เอาคำอ่านดูใช่ไหมปัญหาเรื่องอะไรคำยืนทะเลเรื่องมิจฉาทหารไอเรื่องทำไมคือยืนยืนคิดต่อหรือตีอัดจมูกจากรัมสึกเกณฑ์ All right and would it be fair to say just to make sure that I understand correctly your answer it was out the answers that you provided at the time were outdated because your knowledge was limited as opposed to what your knowledge eventually evolved to After reading all of the documents provided to you by your lawyers. จะมีประสานโลกประเทศเปียกมาเคลียร์นี่คือจะเปียกเด็กหงมไว้ตำไรตัวเล็กกำหนดใดได้เกดอสร้างเจนปิดสายอัดวิ่งตำไรตัวเล็กกำหนดใดได้เกดอสร้างเจนปิดสายอัดมันเมนวีดำไรมีสมัตติภิกษุนชมเดย์ Alright thank you If we could now look at document D 427 For the court officer I'm skipping a couple of documents to save time So this is D 427 Uh, this is from the closing order. And in particular, there are a couple of passages I would like to go over them and get your assessment. Khmer 0060535. English zero zero six zero four seven two three French zero zero six seven four three six six. I'm referring to paragraph eight seven three. I believe it's the same paragraph in all three uh, languages. Where it says here. Dirk explains that Nunchia was part of this committee, although it is unclear whether he had knowledge of this at the time, or if this understanding has evolved with his access to the case file. Very simply, let me ask you this question. Do you agree? Or disagree with this assessment. Jim Ripsan Lopatian Gawain the Mlai Babni. โดยที่มันจำทีปรกยมฉลาดยมวิสาหะจากกรมสืบเกตนี่คือเบิดสมอาณญาตรมเล็กลางบิงอันปีตูนตีรบบงนุ่นในขนงคณะกรรมธิการโยธีจังขบวนรบปะบงนุ่นกับฉลาดท่าคณะกรรมธิการโยธีจังขบวนรบปะเมียนปรามรูปตีมุ้ยคือปอลโพตีปีคือสาวเพิ่มตีใบคือตะมก
Let's look at another passage. This would be in paragraph 878, ERA number 0060537, English 0060472525, French 0062436. 8. Here, in the closing order, the core investigative judges remark, it is not always clear to what extent Doik's knowledge and understanding of the hierarchical structure above him developed with his access to the case file. This is what the core investigative judges have stated. Do you agree or disagree with this assessment? Some change in the Sabrina and Rachit, the Gumar Slide Top, and some new chunk cry, need a sewer like the Midway. Your Honor. This uh, question is asking for the witness to provide an opinion on what, whether he believes the co investigative judge's opinion is correct or not. I think counsel should just put the allegation itself um, rather than comment on uh, the opinion gained by the co investigative judges. It doesn't assist your honours in uh, evaluating the evidence. If I may briefly respond, I'm trying to be fair to the witness before putting it to the witness. I'm giving him an explanation. I'm giving him an opportunity to explain. He can certainly say he disagrees and give us the reasons why. Or he says it agrees and I move on. The fact that I don't say I put it to you doesn't mean that I'm not putting it to him. I'm giving him an opportunity. May I uh, have an answer to this question, Your Honor? បាទចំតោះរបស់ដំណាងថាប្រាជ្ញាអន្តរជាតិចំពោះការតាំងសំណួរបែបនេះ <coughs> របស់លោកចំពោះបញ្ហាអ្វីៗដែលពេទវីឬភាគីផ្សេងទៀតមានបំណងសួរទីពេទវីអាចផ្លាស់ប្ដូរនៅសំណួរក្នុងនៃបញ
of the 30th of March, the 30 March, 1976, Central Committee decision through his access to the case file. Would you agree or disagree with the co-investigative judges that you could only be certain of the hierarchy directly above you, but that you do not know and could not have known that the, the details of the decision-making process? Your Honour, this is where we get to cherry picking, as uh, uh, my learned friend would say. Um, Your Honour, we have no objection with the proposition being put forward, but Council has put forward half a proposition, and uh, the proposition is qualified by the, the following sentences. And then it states, Never, nevertheless, though his experience S21 and with the knowledge that he had at the time, Doik was able to observe that the framework contained in this central committee decision regarding the right to smash inside and outside the ranks was implemented in practice. So this is the problem with leading questions, Your Honour, is that if, if they actually mislead the witness, um, it would uh, not assist the witness in understanding, in fact, what was said. If the leading question puts the proposition in full, then the witness is not misled, but at least can comment on the proposition. And if you look at the first part of the paragraph, it's intrinsically linked to the second part, and it makes the answer complete. By taking out the last part of the paragraph, it looks as though uh, the witness is more unaware of things than aware. But the full paragraph states the opposite. So our objection is not so much that a proposition not be put to the witness, but if the proposition is put, it not be cherry-picked, as Council uh, has often said, and it not be misleading. If I may respond, it's rather comical to hear the remarks from the prosecution when they do exactly the same thing. Secondly, they've had six days to elicit testimony. Six over six days, I'm given one. Now, I'm giving the opportunity to the gentleman to comment. There's nothing leading about my question. He can certainly say that, no, he wasn't. He knew very well all the details of the decision-making process. If I'm unfair to the witness, surely your honors will have the opportunity to elicit further information from this gentleman. I'm giving him an opportunity to make assessments on this. Lastly, the prosecution does not know what my follow-up question is. But even if they did know, when you look at the, what, uh, the answers that we have received thus far, I have laid a proper foundation which allows me to put these questions to the witness. So the question is, could he have known about the hierarchy above him and could he have known all the details of the decision-making process? And the reason I'm asking this is because the prosecution stood up here and said he's in a unique position. And it's our submission that he's in a unique position because he's read documents, has studied, had access to an expert, had access to lawyers, and that's why we're entitled to go down the road of this line of questioning. Uh, Your Honour, I don't quite find the comedy in just asking the witness a uh, fair question, um, and that question was taken out of context of that paragraph, and the witness should be uh, brought, his attention should be brought to the full paragraph, not just part of it. Your Honour, I, I, I gave him the number of the paragraph, and he's been reading it and studying it while listening to the prosecution's remarks. He's a very clever individual. He's intelligent, he's educated, 
I don't see the unfairness. Now, if, if I'm going to be objective to, please, you know, uh, rule on the objection, so I move on, Your Honor. I'm entitled to a question to the answer. 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 Tung cai nam nang, nam nang sa mit bi nam muk nam nang dam nang rap pa bi ni. Your Honour, thank you. I might just interject here to say that I can certainly see where the line of questioning that Mr Carnivus is uh, taking the witness through is trying to establish, but this is a, a, an issue that's not just confined to this particular document, the closing order. Um, Your Honours do need to take into account, if you are going to be relying on this line of questioning, that, uh, that certain questions that have been put to the witness have in fact been taken out of context. Um, I'll give one very brief example, uh, and that is the record of interview on the 25th of June 2008, which is D90, where the uh, witness in that record of interview said that he would like to have a look at the document from Pierre Pork before answering a question. Now, the question that was put to him was about the creation of certain zones and um, why these zones were being created. Now, without the context in which those questions are being asked, we don't know what the document of Pierre Pork talks to. The witness in his answer says that uh, in relation to the conditions and to the date of the establishment of certain zones, he would like to refer to that document before answering the question. So I think that your honours do need to take into account that um, some of these uh, extracts that we're seeing from these written records of interviews are in, in fact taken out of context. If I may respond, first and foremost, if counsel for the civil parties had an objection that should have been raised in a timely fashion, I did not, I did not interrupt because I didn't want to be rude to counsel, but in the future I will interrupt and I will interrupt very forcefully, especially since the prosecution wishes to abide by the rules, and these are the rules. Secondly, if he has all this knowledge that the prosecution and the civil parties are saying he's in a unique position to talk about structure, why is it? Why why is it when he's being questioned by the, uh, the investigative judges, he says, I need to look at documents before I can answer that question. If he knows so much, and it's in his brain already, he doesn't need to look at documents. He doesn't say, I need to double check. So, and it's our contention that through this period of analyzing and synthesizing, he's been able to fill in certain blanks. And we're entitled to, to uh, put these lines of questioning to the witness and get his answer. And so when we're hearing that this is unhelpful, I submit that these objections are not terribly clever. Your Honor, I would like to respond. Anh chơi, mình cho chơi xù, cho chơi ngơ, đôi chì lực ra lực ra xa hơi. Xong chơi. Your Honour, we have we have no objections to the, the general line of questioning. Of course, it's quite appropriate. Um, it's clear from the records of interview. It's also clear from the testimony that there are some facts that were known to this witness later rather than during the time. The critical issue is, as counsel has put it, what was known to the witness at the time compared to what was known as at later. Um, our only concern is that the questions are fair, not that um, this avenue not be explored. The last question was unfair because it misled the witness as to that was his answer, but it was intentionally cut in half, and that was misleading. Mr. President, it wasn't his answer. 
ដែលមិនមែនមែនចេញដល់ដល់ខ្សែងទេវាជាការសន្តិស្ថានរបស់តែសហព្យាញ៉ាតែប៉ុណ្ណោះឥឡូវអង្គមាស់ផ្ដល
French, Barang, zero zero one five four two one eight. Dap ram bay. And this is from a written record of interview dated the 29th November 2007. And I would like to go over this. It says here, in this particular page, top of it reads, Confession. I wish to confess concerning a letter which I previously Denied. I'll skip a line. You then say, or two lines, I forced myself make a temporary denial out of fear and embarrassment. The reason being that I was waiting for the falling into place of the actual implementation of my request to demand a copy of, ev of evidentiary documents to read and consider and refresh my memory. Then further down, you say, in summary, I need all types of evidence in order to contribute to enlightening the court about the crimes which occurred at S-21. You provided this document, did you not, on the 28th of November, 2007, which when it was signed by you. These are your words, are they not? ដែលទេឬក៏មិនមែនទេហើយដោយសារឯកសារនេះមានចុះថាលោកចុះហាត់ And to make sure that I understand you correctly, you gave information which was not accurate or truthful. You finally confessed. And the reason for giving false information initially is because you wanted to read documents first before giving an answer. Did I summarize the situation? ចំរាប់ប្រសាសន៍លោកប្រធានមុននឹងអន្តិច្បាយមុននឹងឆ្លើយខ្ញុំត្រូវសុំឯកសារជាគោលមកសិនដើម្បីច្បាស់លាស់
Before we go to the very last page of this document, which is D121-6. Here we have a list of questions, do we not, sir, that were provided to you to answer. Correct? And we see that the date is 6 March 2009. And if we go at the very last document, which is, which is attached to this, which is, one, which is D121-6, we see that the answers were provided on December 1, 2009, approximately eight or eight and a half months later. Would you agree with me on that? Sir, could you please tell us how long it took you to provide the answers to those questions? On the very last page of D121-6, it says his lawyer sent them to us on 20 November 2009. Do you see that? Attached to this document, at the very end, there is a document with the number of D121-6. And if you look at, towards the end of this document, the penultimate paragraph do you see where it says his lawyers sent them to us on 20 November 2009? Do you see that, sir? Do you see that, sir? So, is it correct to conclude that you had from 6 March 2009 to 20 November 2009 to provide answers to these questions? Can we draw that conclusion? Um, just so the record is clear on it, the accused trial was from April to um, September 
Your Honor, I'm just going by the documents. I'm trying to demonstrate that he had approximately eight months to answer these questions. That's the whole purpose. I don't see the dilemma, and I don't see the reason for objecting. But I'll move on to the next document. D-108, no, I'm sorry, D-90 slash Roman numeral 2, D-90 slash Roman numeral 2, and attached to this document, are the answers, if you flip to E3 slash 15, and we see Phnom Penh, 21 October 2008. That's when the document is dated. And in the paragraph it says, the questions are attached to the record of the interview dated 25 June 2008. Would it be fair to, to draw the conclusion that with these sets of questions, it took you approximately four months to answer? ជម្រាបសាលោកបធានខ្ញុំមើលមិនទាន់ទេបណ្ណកំសុំសរុបថាកំណត់ត្រាអស់នេះអត់មានផ្លែងខ្លាយទេថ្ងៃខែដូច្
would it be fair to say that on this, this occasion, your answers were, pro were provided three weeks later? ជំរាបសាលោកប្រធានអ្វីដែលមានចំណាកត់ត្រាច្បាស់លោកបែបនេះខ្ញុំទទួលស្គាល់ថាត្រឹមត្រូវត្រឹមតែការបរិច្